Mexico youth sports are paused during COVID. We have learned a local soccer club has traveled out of state to compete in a massive tournament. They are playing against hundreds of other teams from around the country as COVID cases spike. News 13's Jackie Kent spoke with a local player and she joins us live from home. Jackie. Brittany, the local Sereno Soccer Club just wrapped up its first game tonight. They have at least two more in Phoenix this weekend. They say they're being safe because they just want to play. I've been playing soccer since I was four. And it's what I focus. It's what I want to do in life. I want to go to college and play soccer somewhere. Soccer is a lifelong passion for Joshua Fresquez, who currently plays with the Sereno Soccer Club. But the effort to further his soccer career has taken a hit this year because of the pandemic. Our high school season hasn't, we've been postponed, postponed, so we haven't been able to practice. Same with club. That's why the Centennial High School senior from Las Cruces says his team was excited to be among the more than 500 nationwide traveling to Phoenix to play in this weekend's Desert Super Cup. And it's one of the major tournaments of the year. It's a controversial event, but Arizona leaders are allowing it despite some pushback regarding all youth sports amid rising COVID case numbers. I think it's time for us to just put a timeout. Uh, on these types of major tournaments. Fresquez says he feels comfortable competing in the tournament that has put COVID safe precautions in place. They have hand sanitizer laid out and they've even laid out spectator rules to where it's two per family. The team is set to play a minimum of three games. Fresquez says he's been preparing how he can. Touch a ball when we're around the house and just keep your soccer up without being able to practice as a team. Because his goal? goes far beyond the games this weekend. So this was a really big tournament for me, being my senior year, looking to be recruited. We reached out to the governor's office for a statement about the team competing in such a huge event. We did not hear back. Brittany, back to you. Okay, Jackie, Fresquez tells us his team does plan on quarantining when they do get back to New Mexico.